Hello everyone. My my name is Joey, and uh, I was in Be I'm in Beijing right now. So um, my background, I used to study in Singapore for five years for middle school and uh, high school, and then I moved to UK study mechanical engineering in Newcastle University. Now I'm carried on to study nuclear physics in Cambridge University for master. And after that, I uh, got the full scholarship in Cambridge University for PhD. I keep going on master uh, on, on the nuclear energy research. And uh, after the first year, and uh, I eventually find out what I, I want to do. And I quit the uh, PhD and give up the scholarship and come back to China to do my uh, to start my company called Illumin Research. I used to study abroad for over 10 years. All my friends are actually um, are Chinese that they are studying abroad. And I find out that they have many questions and they have many problems to, to face, such as my, for example, the first day in university, in Newcastle University, I got seven Chinese classmates in a class of 150 students. The second year, I have only like four friends. And the last year, the third year, I got only one company, one Chinese friend with me. They all dropped out, dropped out or, or some, something bad happened. And uh, because of that, I noticed some, some Chinese students, they have many difficulties to face when they study abroad. And after I studied in uh, Cambridge University, I started to think more deeper and find out What's, what's missing in their background and what's missing in their ability, which is that um, because Chinese education system is called, is called TBL, it's test-based learning. So all the students are based on their results to find out who's the best. But in UK and uh, in America, the university, uh, it's mixed with PBL and TBL. PBL refers to project-based learning and TBL is test-based learning. So it's a mixture of both to, to differentiate the students with different abilities to see which students is a bet, has a better ability. So I find out that most of the Chinese students, they don't have any PBL lessons before in the face that uh, it, it means that they never done any project before they enter university. That's why they don't know how to do presentation. They don't know to design scientific posters, they don't know write essays. They miss a lot of marks and uh, drop, drop, their GPA drop a lot based on that criteria. So I eventually f find out, that, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to change the world a little bit. I want to uh, I find something uh, missing. I want to fill in the piece. So um, in, in 2013, in the first year of the uh, Cambridge University life, I gather around 10 researchers from the world. I think eight from, eight from U US universities, like Harvard, Stanford, and Princeton University, and two from Cambridge and Oxford. So 10 of us, we want to know, um, does the Chinese high, students, uh, Chinese high school students have the ability to do projects before they enter university? So uh, we, we have done this, we call that experiment, which means we, we got 10, uh, 10 research together and each one of us will help one student online to guide one high school student to do a project. Um, so after like six months, my student, it's a girl from, from northern part of China and uh, she's favored in physics. I, I study nuclear, nuclear physics, so I, care, I helped her and tutored her to do a project. And eventually she got accepted in Princeton, uh, sorry, no, in Stanford University and got the full scholarship from the Dartmouth University, which are very, very good universities in America. And uh, the rest of the 10 of the researchers and their students also enter very, very good universities. And okay, we, we think this experiment means that high school Chinese students, they are capable of doing researches, uh, doing research, re researches. And, uh, and they, they actually can, they have the ability to understand research. 
So after that, I, I have this idea to start a company to help all the Chinese high school students, which means they want to study abroad. So for this kind of students, I want to help them before they enter universities to study abroad because they are lacking of these project-based learning abilities. They will have a very miserable life when they, after, uh, when, when they study abroad. So that's, that's the background thoughts of why I study in this company.